This is Snowball. The more you play with your virtual Snowball pet, the more the effect snowballs. So an overview of what I'm going to be talking about is how this idea came to be, an elevator pitch for the idea and where we see it going. And then we'll talk a little bit about the technologies used and some challenges that we encountered and how they were overcome. So one team member, Stephanie, works with social robots and their benefits. And another one, Tiffany, spends a lot of time on her phone. And so together they wondered, what if phones could be social robots? Feelings of loneliness and social isolation are health risks and they've been shown to significantly increase the risk of premature death. And people have reported increasing feelings of these since COVID began. Pets help with these feelings, but not everybody wants or is able to have a pet. And there is a market for virtual pets. Some common ones include Tamagotchis, Nintendogs, Talking Tom. Um, these have experienced lots of purchases, lots of downloads. But you can't touch virtual pets, and touch is valuable. It's been shown to reduce pain readings and to improve mood, but this can be expensive. Um, some models are thousands of dollars, and you can buy a for real friend for around ten to hundred dollars, but this still costs money. But many people already own phones. Eighty-one percent of the U.S. population already owns a smartphone, and we physically interact with these phones all the time. We tap, we swipe, we press buttons. And so here we have a challenge and we have an opportunity. Reported feelings of loneliness are on the rise and social robots touch helps with improving mood, but these robots can be expensive. Some virtual pets are more accessible, um, such as the Talking Tom app that you can download, but these lack the positive benefits of physical touch. But many people already own phones and we physically interact with these phones all the time. And so this is Snowball. Snowball is a low maintenance virtual pet app that users can physically interact with to reduce feelings of social isolation and loneliness. So Snowball's features address some pain points and gaps that were identified. The first one is lack of physical interactions with virtual pets. So you can tap on buttons to be able to feed and talk to your pet, but you're missing the ability to just pet your pet, things like that. The second one is lack of personalization. So for example, talking Tom, everybody's talking to the same Tom. It's not your Tom. And there's also stress from having to care for your pet and to return to the app on a regular basis to progress. For example, if you need to feed your pet or if you need to continue collecting coins to purchase more items for your pet. And the way that Snowball's features address these pain points are that it's purpose built for physical interaction. So you can swipe, tap, shake, and speak. You're able to name your Snowball pet and your pet will respond to their unique name that you give it. And it's also designed to promote healthier user retention by only including a happiness meter that only goes up. So now we'll go into a demo. Let's start off by naming our new friend, Snowball. Hey Snowball. Are you ready to play? Who's a good boy? Uh-oh, someone's a little too excited. Snowball can recognize his own name and is able to express a range of emotions to be your virtual companion. So in summary, we showed an online demo um, of Snowball, but on your phone, you would be able to um, physically like pet Snowball with your thumb, for example, or your fingers, things like that. Things that were done with the mouse in the demo would be done with your hand on your phone. So in summary, Snowball provides accessible physical companionship to assist with feelings of loneliness and social isolation. And Snowball does so in a way that combines the physical touch and companionship benefits of social robots with the accessibility of virtual pets. What's in the future for Snowball? We're thinking about external accessories, so really leveraging this physical aspect of the phone, so such as a fuzzy phone case, so that you're able to pet that. Um, more ways to physically interact, such as through buttons and so on. So technologies used include Swift and Xcode, for app development, Procreate to make the animations, and Git and GitHub for version control. And some challenges faced along the way included decoding text from audio recognition, animating Snowball with GIFs, and coordinating a project since this was a remote hackathon. And thank you. Thank you for listening. <laughs>